nutrition. You nutrition. Your nutrition plan, intermittent yep. fasting. Yep. Tell me your eating plan for the whole day. Please. Yep. So um, I do. I started, I guess, in August, um, doing intermittent fasting. I've, I've done RP for the last probably year, year and a half. Not super strict with it. I have templates, and I know for the most part the amounts, um, like what I need to hit. And I tried to combine those into the, the eight hours, um, but actually Nick from RP the last probably, I guess five or six months ago, he was like, hey, let's actually, because they're really, they really wanted me to eat in the morning, but since I've been doing the intermittent fasting, so I go 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., I'll eat all my calories within that time. And I don't restrict any calories. I try to get as many calories as I can within um, that time. Um, so Nick actually went through and was like, all right, if you're going to do this and you're sticking to it, I'll actually write a plan for it. So I've been doing that the last couple months, and I love it. As long as I get enough calories the day before. Uh, we struggled the last couple of days uh, trying to get some stuff in, and I can feel a difference. But um, as long as I get enough calories that night before, I'm good till 1 o'clock. We train normal. Like, I didn't eat anything this morning and didn't start eating until we finished that first session or that, that last workout that we did at, what, 1.30? Um, and feel completely fine. It took me about a month, about a month to get used to. And <clears throat> luckily when we started at the, um, uh, when we finished at the games, I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I've been reading a lot of good stuff about it, inflammation wise, hormone level wise, and all that. And so I was like, I'll give it a shot. And so we were training pretty light for the first month or so. And then once we started cranking it up, I was like, ah, I'll probably uh, stop doing that. But, um, I, I decided that I felt so good doing it that I was like, all right, let's just crank up the intensity a little bit and see what it feels like, and I feel great. Like I said, I already kind of did that, just not in a, any structured way. Like, I'd usually eat in the morning and then take protein shakes or whatever throughout the day or forget to eat because we'd start training and I'd just forget. But by the end of the day, I was dragging. So what happens is I get training in in the morning, um, I eat. You know, we usually take, what, a break around 1 till about 3.30, and I'll try to take a shake, a meal, and then another something right before we train again, and I feel great for the afternoon. And then when we finish training that night, I usually take in a shake and a meal, and then something right before bed. And um, it's, it's so been pretty that, good. It's tough to get 4,000 calories. It's tough. So, like, usually um, I'm at, it's like 45 grams of my meals most of the time, um, excluding the shakes, are like 45 grams of protein, um, 100 grams of carbs, and then was it like what was it like 15 grams of fat, something like that, 10 or 15, or was it more than that? Taja was helping me actually like plan out the meals a little bit, so she knows some of it. But um, it uh, I, I like it a lot. I feel really good with the, the intermittent Did fasting. Did uh, At first, I lost probably what eight eight to ten pounds, and then now I'm back to normal, okay. about 195, 196. Um, but yeah, I, I feel great. Uh, inflammation wise like my knee I mean I've been going to a, a doctor that he does a lot of acupuncture um, we do some like manual therapy type stuff and um, but my knee like I'm almost back to 100% I'm like probably 90 95 percent and uh, you know there's some days like I have to <clears throat> some days are better than others but I have more good days than I do bad now and my bad days are better than what my good days used to be so uh, between the doctor the diet and all that stuff I feel feel better than I have in probably five or six years Coffee or spark in the morning or water. Kind of so, funny story. I've never, I don't drink coffee, never drank coffee before. Um, and I used to drink spark, but I was drinking absolutely nothing in the, I, water all morning. Um, but this last week, since we started the Good Dudes Coffee, I was like, all right, I need to, I need to actually try it. So last week I brewed two cups, and I only know how to do pour over. They're making fun of me because I don't know how to do anything with coffee. Uh, but I watched Bridges enough, and then found out the calculations, and I do pour over. Um, I'd made two cups last week, and I was like, man, I, just, I can't do this. And then we did that triathlon last Saturday, and we had to wait for Braden to, to get um, fly in, so we were already in Nashville. And so we went to a coffee shop, and I was like, all right, you know what? I'll try iced coffee and see. And so I like iced coffee, so I've had a, going on a week straight of iced coffee in the morning, because iced coffee doesn't break your fast, as long as you don't put anything in it, gotcha. as long as it's black coffee. Um, do what? Have you tried chai, the iced coffee with protein? Uh-uh. No, so, so like I said, I'm fasting in the morning, and so I can't have the calories. I've heard, you know, like Bulletproof and all that stuff. Everybody loves that stuff, but I'm trying to be true. You know, Bridges is like, you don't add anything to coffee. That's his deal. So I'm like, all right, dude, I'll give it a shot. So only black coffee, but it's iced. I've been doing iced coffee, so I actually right at a week now. So. Feel pretty good? Maybe Feel pretty jitters? good. No, I had jitters the first couple of days, just because I, for a while, I used to take caffeine years ago. Um, used to take Spark. 
I'd usually take either a full scoop or half scoop in the morning and then a half scoop in the afternoon. And then I noticed if I didn't have the spark, I'd start getting headaches in the afternoon. So I was like, all right, I'm going cold turkey on it and quit doing caffeine except for when we compete. But uh, coffee doesn't have as much, I don't think, right? Is that the deal? Not as much as spark. Yes, yeah, so I only do one cup a day, morning, um, giving it a shot. One last detail. No, you're good. Yeah, no, we got Game day. Game day. Same, same plan? Uh, so when we, this, the last couple sanctionals, I have done the fasting. We were in China, so that was that really threw me off. It was tough to kind of figure out the, the whole schedule thing with that. Um, but yeah, as long as, like if we have a morning event, um, I won't eat before that. But if there's another event that's gonna fall like right at one o'clock or whatever, I may eat something before and get some type of calories just to be ready. Competition days, I'm not quite, I'm, we need calories. And so it kind of depends on what we're doing. But man, I feel so good doing the intermittent fasting that I haven't changed it. I've tried, I've really, for when we were in uh, Columbus, I pretty much did the whole thing because the, the events kind of fell uh, at good times to do it. So I'm used to it. I mean, we go hard okay. from 9.30 till 1, and I never really get that hungry. As long as I stay busy, I don't think about food. Sundays are hard because we don't train as much. Um, and then Thursdays get a little bit tough because we usually do two endurance, or like I'll do a bike erg and then we'll do a swim. So the endurance, two endurance pieces before 1 o'clock. Towards the end of the endurance pieces, I'm like, all right, I'm getting a little hungry, but um, feel feel great. Other than that, so yeah, I, it's kind of. I mean, intermittent fasting. I was like, I don't know, I'll, I'll give it a shot, but I I really like it. I think it's helped a ton. And so I did. We did Inside Tracker. Um, they tested our blood, and my testosterone pre. It was like, was it last year this time? I did a blood test, and I think it was like. 492 was my testosterone, and then after doing the intermittent, only thing I changed was intermittent fasting, and that was in January, and it was up to like 892. So, it's one of the things that that's the only thing I changed. So, now everybody's gonna go try it. Brian tried it for a day, he gave up. Two days. Two days. All right. <laughs> Two days. I mean, and it doesn't work for some people, but it works for me. Blood sugar is fine, though. You never. Yeah. No, I never had crap. I've actually. Uh, I, there would be times where I would start almost before I did intermittent fasting, if I'd eat a big breakfast or eat something in the morning, and we'd do a hard training session, I'd start to get a little lightheaded. Don't have that anymore. So yeah, I, I swear by it. It works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, and you know some people don't like it at all. I've, I've had some friends try it. I've had other friends that love it. So uh, you just got to kind of try it out and, and use your, your body as, a, as the, the test for it. In terms of nutrition, yep. I know you're good at it now, but when you were bad at it, yep. What were some things that like helped you along the way, almost like getting into like a decent routine if you ever did so? Like, because like I feel like I'm almost in like similar spots where I don't eat like a ton per day, especially yeah. if I have long training sessions. Yeah. Like, um, great per day. My go-to right now is just like protein with a, uh, a shot of Hershey syrup for the carbohydrates in there. Um, <laughs> peanut butter was pretty dense. Um, yeah, I mean, I it really just it takes takes some dedication to do it. And we actually figured out how to take my the my numbers and how to do it in Chick Fil A form. So that's been, that's been a game changer. Can you send me that spreadsheet? Yep, sure can. It's a twelve count nugget meal with fries. You can't have sauce. That's the hard part. Sauce, I know. Uh, lemonade, and um, you you order a large superfood salad because you get your greens in there, and that's right on what I have to hit. So. You're welcome. That's the most expensive. Yeah. What? This, that's, the kale is the most expensive. I know, right? <laughs> kale and broccoli stems. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> what else? Chick fil A. Do you go for a gallon of milk a week? Do what? How many gallons of milk a week do you drink? A lot. I like I like milk. I like whole milk. Um, that's one thing with RP. There, he he would rather it be low fat or no fat, and I'm like, ah, dude, I'll take the extra fat. Yeah. So I drink whole milk and all my protein shakes. Uh, but yeah, I probably go through at least a half gallon or three quarters of a gallon a day. Sheesh. Strong bones. <laughs> Denser bones. I actually did one of those like scans where they scan your body and my bone density was pretty uh, off the charts. I drink a lot of milk. Big bones. <laughs>